right, what's going on guys? 10, 14, 21, officially 30 days on the road. We left on September 14th, so it's a nice little milestone. We're over 6,000 miles at this point too. And uh, we're heading to Biloxi. Well, we're gonna go through Mobile, Alabama today on our way to Biloxi. And then we have a campground at uh, Davis Bayou, or a campsite, I should say, at Davis Bayou Campground, which is a little bit outside of Biloxi, but right on the bay. So we're gonna hit the road. We got about two hours and 15 minutes or so of driving ahead of us. Not too much at all. All right, so we just filled up on gas, heading to our destination in Mississippi, leaving Florida. We're about to cross over into Alabama, actually, for the second time. We've been to Alabama earlier in the trip on the northern side. But uh, what did we learn in our three days in Florida? We learned that northern Florida is pretty nice as far as uh, the uh, scenery. And it's also pretty friendly. I mean, there's no gators or snakes. I did see like a seven foot constrictor through our uh, back of the camping area last night, but they're not really that much of a danger to us. The people, it's kind of like a mix. Uh, some people are really nice, like, you know, other states in the south. Some people not so much. But the thing here is there's so many people in Florida that aren't actually from Florida that there's not many accents down here. It doesn't feel like you're in the South, really. I'm not trying to bash Florida. Overall, we actually had a pretty good time on our three days. Yeah, two of the state parks that we see that were really great. I'm gonna capture this video here. We're working double time here. We've got two cameras going as we're crossing the water into Alabama. All right, Google, come on. Google's going to tell us here in a second. Welcome to Alabama. There we go. There you can see downtown Mobile, Alabama in the distance. Just kind of driving through. Still on our way to Biloxi. Tunnel, it looks like. I know, yeah, I'm even wearing Myrtle Beach. I got my Alabama hat. So we're in Mississippi. Made it to Mississippi. There's lizards running around all over the place. It's craziness. Uh, so you gotta watch where you step. We're at the rest stop though. Pretty nice rest stop. I mean, I'm still just amazed at how some of these other states have such great rest stops compared to like Oregon and even Idaho for that matter. But Oregon especially, you got work to do, Oregon. You got work to do. All right, we're gonna continue. We're going to Biloxi. We're about 30 minutes away from the beach. We're gonna go uh, have some fun, and then we're gonna go hit up the Hard Rock Casino. made it to Biloxi and uh, we're going into the visitor center right now just behind me here nice big building it's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool place you got the statue behind me here lots of stuff on the ground Different names there's a lot of history in this town 
Got some cool trees here in front. And of course the beach is just across the street here. Um, but we're gonna go inside and check this, uh, this place out for a little bit before we actually go play on the beach. We still got a while before we can check into our campground. So we're just killing some time for a few hours. Then we're gonna go hit up the casino. But uh, look at the front of this place. Wow. Right, so we're inside the visitor center. We got Elvis Presley there, some sort of jacket. Bo Diddley. I don't know if that's a steel guitar. I might be wrong on that. I might also be right. And then this is Charlie Rich. Alright guys, welcome to the beach. Uh, we're at, uh, I think it's called Lighthouse Park. And uh, yeah, this is the beach in Biloxi, Mississippi. Waves are a little smaller here than some of the other beaches we were at. Even Myrtle Beach had much bigger waves than this. But that's because there's some islands out there that kind of separate this from the Gulf of Mexico. So it's not just like directly stepping in the Gulf of Mexico at this point. So they don't get as big See? Oh, there's jumping weird flying fish out there too. There's a big ship out there as well. But the water's warm. It's not as warm as some of the other places here. It's not bad though. Alright, we're gonna play on the beach for a little while longer and then we're probably gonna head to the casino. made it here to the Hard Rock Cafe and we're gonna go in and hopefully get some food, cool off. We're hoping they have air conditioning. Hopefully the wind's not too bad that you can't hear me here, but uh, yeah, I mean, the beach was fun. It was just super hot, there's no shade and we just wanted to get out of the heat. So we're going into the casino where we can sit down and enjoy a cold drink and some air conditioning. Walking around the Hard Rock Cafe here in Biloxi, Mississippi. It's actually not super busy in here, but it's it's nice. It's a nice casino. Uh, they got lots of exhibits. There's a Ben and Jerry's up here. I don't know if they have dairy-free ice cream. Maybe we'll find out. That might be nice since it's about 100 degrees outside. So we made a pit stop for some ice cream. We were gonna go eat pizza, but we decided to get Ben and Jerry's ice cream instead. They had quite a few dairy-free options. I got the berry berry sorbet and chocolate chip cookie dough, and Inga got lemon sorbet, and then also the berry berry. Yum. The berry ice cream, or the berry berry sorbet or whatever, it's really good. It's so hot. It's nice to have a cool treat right now. Driving over Biloxi Bay. Here we go. East on 90. We've arrived at Davis Bayou Campground. We're gonna go check in and then we'll go check out our site. at Davis Bayou Campground. There's our spot up there. Probably one of the few people here who doesn't have a you know, RV or a trailer because we just sleep in the back of the truck, but it was only 22 bucks to stay here, which is actually cheaper than a lot of the state parks that we've been staying in on the East Coast and, and on our way back to the West Coast here. So overall though, a uh, nice campground. It's got good bathroom facilities, staff is friendly. Again, the price is right. We're right on the water, which is right over here. There's a bayou back here, and then 
the actual town of Biloxi is about 10 minutes away, so there's still a chance that we may go back into town, maybe have a drink at the casino, do a little gambling or something. Uh, we're not sure, or we might just hang out here for the night. Who knows, who knows? But we're gonna get settled, unpack our stuff, get the bed all set up, and then uh, we'll probably go explore from there. All right, we're gonna try these Bucky's peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. The cookies are pretty good. They're, uh, they're really soft. They're gluten-free, so they're not like a traditional chocolate chip or peanut butter chocolate chip cookie. They're a little bit different, but pretty dang good overall. I would definitely, I would definitely buy these again. Going for a little walk on the nature trail here. And, uh, we know where this goes, or how far it is, but let's find out. There's supposed to be gators. We're still gatorless on the trip. Still gatorless at this point. There's a jacket. Looks like somebody left their jacket in the middle of the woods. It's kind of weird. I'm scouting ahead because Inga has sandals on, so. She's going slow, she's taking her time. She doesn't really probably want to go very far on this nature trail, especially with the threat of snakes and whatnot. Seems to keep going though. Seems to keep going. We just got a little bit further. I'm trying to avoid touching any of these plants because we don't want ticks or anything of the sort. But still, Really nice campground so far. Really nice. We found a second uh, pavilion area with a separate bathroom and stuff, so pretty cool. I don't know if she's actually still behind me at this point. She might have stopped and turned around, so I think I might have to go back. But it looks like the trail actually branches here. It goes this way and that way. It's still early. It's still only like 5 o'clock. The problem is the sun's gonna go down soon, so we don't have much time to be doing hiking right now. We gotta go back and eat. Otherwise, we're gonna be eating in the dark. So I guess I'll make my way back to her. See you guys in bed. We're just walking through this grassy park area. Kind of come to the, oh, there's a basketball hoop over here. <laughs> I don't have my basketball. I mean, come on. There's a basketball hoop in the campground. <laughs> it's Mississippi for you. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Actually, single, single rim basketball hoop. I can't even find that in town. Not without paying for a gym membership. All right, so we're out behind our camping spot here at Davis Bayou and just taking in some shade, enjoying the view, enjoying the breeze. We're gonna have a good evening ahead of us. We got some cooking to do.